वेलकम बैक गाइज सो द सेम एग्जाम्पल आई जस्ट कॉपी पेस्ट एंड इफ यू लुक एट हियर इन दिस एग्जाम्पल आई एम जस्ट ओवर राइडिंग द हैश कोड ओके आई एम नॉट ओवर राइडिंग द इक्वल्स मेथड सो नाउ विल दिस विल हेल्प अस टू एवॉयड द टू ऑब्जेक्ट विच हैज द सेम डेटा नो सो वॉट विल हैपन दो द टू ऑब्जेक्ट विल हैव द सेम हैश कोड बिकॉज हियर वी आर ओवर राइडिंग द हैश कोड एंड वी आर जनरेटिंग द हैश कोड बाई लुकिंग द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर सो फॉर दिस फर्स्ट फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्ट डेटा फॉर द थर्ड ऑब्जेक्ट डेटा एंड फॉर द फोर्थ ऑब्जेक्ट डेटा हैश कोड इज गोइंग टू बी सेम ओके हैश कोड इज गोइंग टू बी सेम बिकॉज द कैरेक्टर इज बी बी एंड बी एंड वी आर जनरेटिंग द हैश कोड बाई द कैरेक्टर बाई द कैरेक्टर वी आर कास्टिंग द कैरेक्टर इन टू अंटीजर सो हैश कोड विल बी सेम राइट नाउ इवन दो द हैश कोड इज सेम दैट इज नॉट ओनली द क्राइटेरिया to remove the uniqueness after the hash code it will check for the object also now the problem is all objects are different so when you will after the hash code what happens we have seen that right it will compare the object also object is different so this will give you false this will not give you true then it will look for this equals method now equals method since we are not overriding it will go for the default implementations and when you press control and click on equals this also will check for it will just compare the object this will also false because two object will be never same okay both the object will have a different address now in that case the problem what will happen is you will be end up of inserting all four records because on the map i am calling that key set and i am running a for each loop so this for each loop will tell you again the same thing i am printing the data key hash code of the key and then index like where in the bucket where this will go i am do doing a modulus of 15 so by now we are familiar with what is the modulus of 15 and all that so let me run this so in interview people will ask you like is it possible to achieve the uniqueness just by overriding hash code say that no see here all four got inserted okay in previous example when i was overriding both hash code and equals and then in equals i was checking for the object data i was able to remove the uniqueness uh, sorry i was able to remove the duplicate data right because i was in the equals method i was overriding it and i was checking the data of the object so i was able to remove the duplicate data here i cannot just by looking the hash code because hash code is the one parameter then it will check for the object object is different yes then it will check for the equals method and since we are not overriding it equals will also check for the object and this all four data will get inserted so the problem is here collision will happen you can look at here when we are finding the index there there will be a collision and first so first bhanu will get added then bhanu test will get get added and then one more bhanu test will get added because we are not overriding the equals method here that's what we did in just before this previous uh, just before this uh, video we have done that right now look at how internally this will work so internally it is pretty simple straight forward nothing will happen if you look at this so on this uh, on this bucket 8 okay first bhanu will come okay then again what will happen one more hash code 98 will come then what will happen on this index it will check for the node okay there is already one node which has address is equal to 98 then it will compare the object object is not same then it will compare the, then it will call equals method we are not overriding the equals method then what will happen it will insert one more node with address 98 and here uh, key will be bhanu test then again one more collision happened here here one more collision happened and then again what happened is again uh, it will check for on this index 8 okay there is any node yes there is a node okay then this node this uh, node uh, it will uh, this node will have a hash code so then it will get the key from that okay and uh, it will uh, look for the uh, key uh, in your uh, this one the second uh, second key what you had right so again so already let's say when you, you have entered two record in the bucket already 98 is there key is equal to vanu again 98 is there and key is equal to bhanu test so again when you are trying to put the data though when the third will come it will check for the hash code yes hash code is there 
whether the object is matching no then it will check for the equals in equals are we overriding no then bhanu test came right again bhanu test was inserted here one more note inserted here when bhanu test came third time okay what will happen again it will check already node is there yes then it will check for the equals both object are same no because we are using that new operator right you can see that when we are creating the object we are using that new operator so object is never same okay it will compare for the object it will compare for the key basically so this object is nothing but key guys okay it will check for the key though i have given here bhanu and pratap and all that but this is not the key key is the actual object so this key is not same again that it will same thing will happen when the third time it will come it will check for the previous key the key will not match so again one more node will get inserted i think you are clear right first time this node got inserted second time when the index was same 8 it first it will check for the hash code yes hash code is 98 yes then it will check for the key key will be different why the key will be different second time when this bhanu test came because key is the object key is the fresh object so key will never match okay and we are not overriding the equals method also so it will never match second entry will go second entry will go so this entry will come okay and now the first node will point to the second node when third time when third time what will happen is uh, when again uh, it will one more data will get added and hash code is same okay hash code is not changing but again this is the new object so the key is different right so the hash code is 98 then it will go to the next node again key it will not match then again it will add one more node here and the second node will point to the third node because this this object this key object is the different this key object is the different this key object is the different so basically these all are key object okay this is also key object and this is also key object this all whatever you are seeing that bhanu bhanu test and bhanu test that i have done that for your representations okay you can you can realize that but this is not actually bhanu and bhanu test if you look at actually it is a key is the object guys okay this is the object it's not a bhanu bhanu is the data in the object okay again the bhanu test is also is the object again here the bhanu test is the object so your key is not bhanu test so don't get confused by the way okay and then on this key is equal to pratap hash code is equal to 112 and index is equal to 7 so on 7 the pratap will get added right so why this problem came this problem came people will ask you in the interview because we are just overriding the hash code we are not overriding the equals method now what will happen if you just override the equals method what will happen when you just override the equals method this is also will not work you are just overriding the equals method now what will happen for your all object actual the default implementations of hash code will get called and since your all key is the object so your every key will have a unique hash code so your first condition itself will not fulfill see this conditions itself will not fulfill the hash code itself is the unique when it is the unique hundred percent data insertion will happen you cannot avoid the duplicacy here okay you cannot i will just run this program see here equals will not help you guys it will never go to equals itself because look at here the problem look at the hash code all the hash code is uh, unique here because we are not overriding the hash code so actually it will call the default implementations of the hash code what we have in the math class and it will give you the actual hash code so look at this is hash code is 99554 9733 2462 and 53135 because we are not overriding the hash code so it will call the default implementations what we have in the hash map so though you are writing that the equals uh, your control will never come to this equals it will never come here the reason is your first condition itself will fail it will never go there so please in the interview when you are saying the answer please say that you need to override both hash code also equals also to achieve the uniqueness whenever you have custom type of object okay first point second point as i told in my very first video when you have primitive data type 
you don't need to override anything okay when you have primitive data type this will be automatically taken care by the overrided method uh, the hash code n equals what you have in the hash map that you don't need to override this problem will come only when if you have a custom object okay if you will have custom object right so you can see that there is no benefit because all the hash codes are different now one more important point here is though the hash codes are very big but when you do a modulus of 15 which is nothing but index as i told no matter how big your hash code is when you do modulus of 15 always you will get the index between 0 to 15 so look at the first index is 4 8 2 and 5 so in this case what will happen is every index will acquire 1 1 data so look at here on 2 1 node will be get created on 4 1 node will get created on 5 1 node will get created and on 8 one node will get created and that's how your representation is so your bucket 0 to 15 will hold the node every bucket index will hold the one one node so now if i have to access i can access through this index okay i can access this data okay so actually access will not happen through index that we will see that when i will start with the get method of the hash map so this i was talking about the put method with this we are almost done with the hashing concept now i can easily start with the hash set and hash map so that you can understand why hash map never allows uh, duplicate data in case of primitive but yes again uh, in the hash map or hash set when you use the custom object when you use the custom object guys uh, any person or employee or let's say anything as a custom object that object data duplications cannot be avoided even in the hash set or hash map to do that you have to override hash code and equals method that's what i have shown you you need to override if you will not override the custom object data duplications will not get removed by the default implementations of hash code and equals which you have in the map class right so, but whenever you have only primitive data type your uh, duplicacy, duplicacy will be taken care right so if you look at my very first things and and then i will close the video so if you look at here when i was talking about the set class in the hash set internally it uses hash map just i wanted to reiterate okay and these are not different so from next video onward i will start with hash set in java thank you guys thank you for watching this